Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Today, we're going to continue on with our flea study for 2023. We are still continuing with our English collection from Hawthorne Fibers. And today, we're going to be doing Dorset Horn, which we have here. Um, again, I purchased this myself. I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I do will have a link in the description below um, to this particular collection in case you want to try spinning it yourself. But I receive absolutely nothing for it. This is came was paid for out of my own pocket. So, um, so let's take a look at this. It says, of course, the breed origin is from England. Uh, it's thirty-two to thirty-four microns, and the average staple length of a hundred millimeters or four inches. So let's look it up in the field guide to fleece here. I've got it marked here. It's another conservation breed. Um, let's see, uh, origin England, fleece weight four and a half to nine pounds, so two to four kilograms. Staple length is two and a half to five inches, or six to 13 centimeters. Uh, fiber diameters are 26 to 33 microns. And the natural colors are white. And it says, Dorset Horn is the only traditional British breed that can mate and produce lambs throughout the year, not just in the winter and spring. Okay. The somewhat crisp and versatile wool of this breed has good body as a fleece or yarn, with an organized, regular, and relatively fine crimp pattern in both fiber and lock. Dorset horn is amenable to a variety of preparation methods. You can card it or comb it, depending on the length of its dense lock. It can be spun from the staple, the crimp can vary, and a longer fleece with a more open crimp pattern will be easier to spin than a shorter staple fleece with a tighter crimp. Effects of dyes, it takes dyes clearly and well. Best uses, whether spun using the woolen method for airiness or the worsted method for compactness, you'll find dorset horn appropriate for making everyday garments, blankets, and the like. It is reluctant to felt. Okay, so don't use it if you're going to do felting because it's reluctant. It doesn't say it won't felt, but... Anyways, let's take a look at our fiber here. Open this up. My little card out of there. All right, so it's got a nice soft feel to it. So I pull off some a staple length of fiber. Let me pull another one, just make sure. So yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably about four inches. Yeah, four inches for the staple length. Uh, something decent to work with. So let me get my wheel set up and then we'll get to spinning this.
Okay, it's the next day. The fiber has been washed and set and hung up to dry. And here we go. This is our finished hank of yarn. Um, we got about 32 yards. Um, it was, of course, same as I always do. Short back draft, chain plied. Um, we got a bulky about seven wraps per inch so it's a little thicker than what i've been spinning but it seemed to like plump up a bit after it was wet set um wet finished so keep that in mind <laughs> but it is very squishy very very squishy got a bit of stretch to it it's fairly soft i, I this is was an enjoyable fiber to spin I would definitely spin more of it if I had more of it. I, again, I think I, I had done um, a small sample of this before, but I don't remember exactly. Uh, one other thing, I forgot to show the picture of the sheep at the beginning of the video. So here we go, the Dorset horn. You can see them. They are a cute little sheep there. That's what they look like. And this, of course, is their finished wool. So, would I buy more? Absolutely. I enjoyed spinning it, and I could probably think of several uses for this um, fiber in the future. Uh, so, next week, we're going to be doing Exmoor Horn, uh, one I have not done before. There it is. Uh, so, this should be interesting uh, for us to spin as well. So, until then, happy crafting!